Well, Gareth, the game obviously turned on the second half penalty award after being firmly in the game. How frustrating was it that the game slipped away in the manner that it did? Yeah. Um, well, we had a plan. The plan was working and then we give a silly penalty away. Um, looks like a penalty. I haven't seen the replay, but it looks like one. But I don't think we really need to make the tackle. Um, but no, absolutely. Uh, it was it was there. It was working, you know. We had that. Uh, we got frustrated. The fans were frustrated, you know, and the West Brom fans. And then all of a sudden, it turns on that moment, and then in that moment as well, um, we lose Jimmy to a red card. You know, after look at the video, um, the referee said he's got involved in something around the penalty spot, um, and he's already on a yellow. And it, you know, it's naive if he, if he has. Very naive, you know. Um, disappointing, but um, but obviously, you know, it's. Uh, it's going that way at the moment, um, and losing Jake um, at half time again, <laughs> another blow. Uh, it just seems to be going against me at the moment. But listen, I'm a fighter. We'll fight our way out of this. I've, t I've said this all along. You know, we will we will fight our way out of this. Um, it's the only way. It's the only way. It's what we've got to do now. Um, you know the fans are, you know, getting really frustrated, and uh, obviously a few songs and, and criticisms. But that's that's, you know only, only uh, understandable because they've come a long way. I think we had some good moments in the first half, you know, some breakaway moments which were good. Second half, we had a plan. We had a plan to ease the pressure more forward and uh, it's very similar to last year, what kept us up, you know, Burnley and Stoke, but um, you can't do it with, uh, with 10 men uh, and you can't do it with giving penalties away, you know, that's tough. But um, listen, I'll back the lads. I always will and um, I'll keep going. I'll keep going, I'll get him ready for Saturday now, but um, I think we're missing one or two, which again is, is really, really going to be tough. But um, it's not effort, it's not football tonight, it's silly things that have cost us. It's uh, a little bit of naivety and, and um, you know, obviously we don't, we don't work on those things in training to give penalties away to, to get sent off. We work in a system with 11 men, we're trying to get things, I tried to introduce things later on, and, and Chrissy, we both looked okay. You know, I thought Reggie had a great debut, I thought he had a really good debut, so that's a massive positive as well. Um, but yeah, it's another defeat, I understand that. Um, I know where the club is, and uh, I want to fight and get the club out of it. What's Jimmy said about the red card? He's apologised for getting the red card, and uh, obviously I'll keep things between. Uh, players and, and managers, you know, I don't want anyone getting in the dressing room. It's a sacred place, and uh, and those boys are they're devastated in there, you know. But there's a, a few crosswords, obviously. But um, like I say, keep things private, and uh, and we'll go again on Friday. We all know how difficult results are at the minute. How do you pick yourselves up? As you said, Leicester, the league leaders on Saturday. How do you pick yourselves up for that? Got to go again. The first 60 minutes, we're okay, you know. And I'm saying to the boys, we were okay. It's a crazy. Crazy penalty and a, and a crazy moment during the penalty that's uh, that's really told the tale of the game tonight. And because uh, I didn't I didn't see them really hurting us. You know I don't think they had a shot on target until the penalty. And uh, and that's something we tried to do frustrate them. You know and the West Brom they're a good side. They got big players. You know got players on, on big big money here. And um, and sometimes you know they're they're better than you. So you have to find ways. Uh, and tonight we we didn't find a way. We we made some silly errors that weren't football related, you know, and that's that's the biggest disappointment for me. Jake Clark sort of came off at half time, like you mentioned. What what seemed to be out of him? Yeah, um, we'll see again. I don't want to, you know, step on the toes of the medical staff, um, so we'll uh, we'll assess. I was just told at half time he has to come off, um, and obviously that 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 hurt us because I think Jake's been really good lately and scored a great goal on Saturday, and you know was was a threat tonight. But um, again, uh, unfortunate to lose him. Leicester now on Saturday. Jimmy Dunn suspended after his red card. How, how are options looking at centre-back? Yeah, obviously um, Steve Cook's close. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, we won't risk anyone. Um, but again, we need our best players on the pitch against the best team in the league coming to Loftus Road. Um, it's going to be tough, you know. It's going to be tough. And uh, I know that the atmosphere is probably going to be uh, one of frustration. But can we get behind the boys? There's nothing to lose, you know, there's nothing to lose. It's, it's bad, but it can get better, believe me. We need to all pull together, we need to all get together, and we all need to get behind these boys because they're hurting on the pitch. You know, I'm hurting, my staff are hurting. We're trying our best, and sometimes your best isn't good enough, and other teams are better. 
Leicester are a good side, they're a Premier League outfit, but there's no reason we can't beat them at home. I'll be going for that and hopefully we can do it.